Hi guys, here's Arne from Königsmark. And uh, I got a lot of requests lately about uh, supporting Fuse and Mixamo rigs as well with the um, People Motion version 2. So I looked into it and I would like to give you um, a short update about how this will work in the uh, first small update I'm planning. Um, actually, I'm uh, running through the um, pipeline and uh, will give you an idea about how to use those uh, Fuse rigs in Cinema 4D. So I've opened up Fuse here already and uh, if you don't know it yet, you see this is sort of a drag and drop system uh, to build your own character, to add cloths and uh, hair and stuff like that. And uh, in the end, to export it to uh, Mixamo, which is an um, Adobe web service to add um, motion capture animations to those characters. Or you can even save it out to be used in the Creative Cloud in combination with uh, Photoshop. And this one I would like to show you in this uh, work shop here. So basically I'm just uh, double clicking the uh, shapes I like to use for the head, for the torso and just uh, picking some random stuff here. Basically you can decide which kind of skin color you like to use or shape and um, you can of course add some cloths some top here and some uh, jeans and maybe some shoes. Like this and in the end maybe also some hair. And uh, there you are. This is the character setup. And um, now you can of course tweak this um, character on and uh, all the shapes and body types. But in this case I'd just like to save this out to the Creative Cloud library. So I'm using my um, library here. Give uh, an individual name to this mesh and rig and uh, save this out. This normally takes a couple of minutes to create um, a rig and to transfer this to the library. So I'm canceling this process. I'm directly switching to Photoshop as I already saved this out. And when you're in Photoshop, you can see that there we have the uh, library tab here on the right, at least in my layout. And uh, there you can see here is our saved out model. Uh, it might take a couple of minutes after you uh, created this with Fuse, so don't get too impatient if uh, it doesn't show up immediately. But when it shows up, just double click it here which uh, brings up um, a separate 3D layer in Photoshop. And from here you could uh, start to actually um, pose this character or do some compositing stuff. But uh, we just use this layer here to save this out. And uh, let me bring up this. Let me see if I just can expand this dialog a little bit more so you can see the menu entry here. So I'm just doing a right click on this um, layer and I'm choosing to export the 3D layer. This brings up an export dialog where you can choose between different kinds of export formats. I'm sticking to the uh, default Collada file here and uh, basically I'm not changing much about the um, default settings. Um, I'm just um, choosing JPEG as a texture format uh, to save some uh, uh, disk space and I'm hitting OK. And then you are asked to uh, choose a default or a folder where you'd like to export this uh, to. And as you can see I already did this here again to save some time so I'm cancelling this and I'm directly switching over to Cinema 4D. 
And this is uh, version 17 in this case, but it works exactly the same in 18 as well. So I'm just using the file open command and I'm navigating to the Collada file we just exported from Photoshop. Hitting open and there you get your simple import dialog where everything is fine already. Hitting OK and this imports uh, the rigged character. Unfortunately, we have a little bit of extra work to do. As you already can see that the materials seem to be a little bit off regarding the transparency. And also the rig size seems to be quite off as you compare this to the actual character size. So let's head over to fix this as well. Um, first of all, I'm deleting all the stuff I don't need. So that's the camera and all the lights. Um, the second thing about this imported mesh and rig is about the project settings. So if you had a look at the edit project setting or just command D, you can see that uh, by importing this, they changed something about the scale. So it makes sense to reset this to the default parameters. Uh, so just a, s a scale of one and using centimeters. Um, this will have an impact on any kind of primitive objects you will use later in the scene. So it makes sense to reset this. Um, heading over to the materials, um, maybe first thing we should do, let me tear this off, is to um, remove all the unused materials. In this case, it's just about the ground material. So we're getting rid of this. And after that, we have a quick look at the remaining materials. And you can see that the transparency is used in every single one of them. So um, it seems that um, normally this should be an alpha uh, channel instead of transparency. That's why the uh, surfaces look a little bit transparent. So what we can do to, t uh, to fix this is um, to activate the alpha channel for all the materials and then one by one heading to transparency and by dragging and dropping the uh, loaded uh, texture from the transparency to the alpha we can fix the given transparency problems. So just dragging the texture onto the alpha tab and then onto this gray button here to load the uh, texture to the alpha channel. So if we have done this, you can again select all the materials, head to transparency, choose clear to get rid of all the transparency textures add to basic tab and untick transparency. And there you go. You can see that now the character has all the colors visible and the uh, unneeded transparency is gone. But we still have the alpha uh, in place here, for instance, for the hair uh, where it's needed. So the next thing to fix is about the scale difference uh, between the rig and the character. So we have to check what's causing this. So clicking on the um, topmost null object, you can see that they are working with a scale here on the matrix of the um, object. And this is causing the scale difference we see here. To fix this, um, we have to do a couple of clicks. First of all, you untick the skin deformations we have here in place. And as you can see, this brings down the character to its original size. So that's the first step. Um, next step would be to reduce uh, the scale of the null object to one. So we now have the default size again. Um, if you select the null, 
and choose size plus here in the coordinates manager, you should see about a real world um, measurement now or size now. And uh, this would be a little bit less than uh, 1.8 meters for this character. So this seems about quite right. Next thing to do is to select all the weight tags we have here and set bind posts. So now the new uh, relation of the joints in regards to the scaled down character meshes are stored again. So when we tick on all the skin deformers now, the character will just keep its uh, pose and stay in place. If you like to, you can get rid of the normal text here. Uh, actually, I think we don't need them. Just in, uh, instead of that, use the default Fong tags and uh, you can play around a little bit with the Fong angle limit here if you like. But normally this works better with uh, deformed meshes. So from here on, we can actually start to animate this character. So we do this by getting the people in motion controller. And keep in mind, this is already the updated version. So if you're already a customer of uh, and user of the first edition, uh, you will get this updated version um, maybe in the next one or two days. I'm still testing this out to uh, be sure that there are no uh, remaining bugs, but uh, basically this is how it will work. So you're getting uh, the basic settings tab here and you spot the hips joint as you're used to with all the people motion functionality. So you just drag and drop this to the hips link field and then I'm just bringing this up a little bit so you can actually see this better. And uh, then you get the new entry here for Adobe Fuse and Mixamo Rigs. Hit load, hit constrain and switch over to animate and there you go. Motion designer, walk in place, increase the walking speed and that's all needed to actually um, work with Fuse and Mixamo rigs in combination with People Motion version 2. Hope you like this quick tip. If you have any additional questions, just let me know and I try to answer them um, below this posting or with additional videos. Thanks for watching.